All right, good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Panama City. Today is Monday, January 15th. Um, I'm out here in the bay. I've got... Where was the case at? Oh, uh, yeah. We're close. We're close. <laughs> I got Kevin with me. And um, Kevin's a, sub a subscriber that um, wanted to learn how to catch some fish in, in the bay or just near shore. And um, we tried to go offshore and the uh, rollers are just horrible yeah. um the wind is not bad the wind is less than five miles an hour as predicted but the rollers offshore are are bad they're too bad for us to try and sit out there and fish i wouldn't be able to keep trolling motor in the water so we turn around came back in we're going to start here on the sailboat and we're just going to see what we can catch we'll probably go get some shrimp i got uh cigar minnows and squid but, um, so we're going to see what we can catch here with that, and then uh, we'll probably go get some squid and, and just see what we can catch all day today. So, y'all stick it around. All right. Oh, you get a hit? I got rock. Oh, look at you. What do you mean getting robbed? Come on, Bob. Come with them bait steel with you. There we go. I know, I know. There's a, it's, it's kind of um, pull up and reel down. Well, no, but it's, I'm, I'm twisted somewhere. There we go. Should be as tight as it should be. Oh, that snapper. No, it felt like it was hung up up there. That's it. Yeah. You want to show it? Or? Yeah, show the camera. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And you don't put your hand on it. You got a release tool? Oh, that's the Walmart special. There you go. Thank you. Nice red snapper. Yeah, nice red snapper. All right, well, we went ahead and came offshore, and now we're, we're up here at Wet n Wild, um, which is the closest place to St. Andrews. It's a little sporty, but um, not too terribly uncomfortable. Um, boat's just bouncing in, in the, the rollers. But um, we'll try fishing here for a little while and see if we can catch some fish. Got him that time? All right. Trigger's good. Trigger? It's quite right. Mm. Oh. Is that? Right. Oh, yeah. Big grunt. Yeah. Ruby red. No. Excuse me. Yep. Ruby red. red. Yep. They're good to eat. So they are. Oh, believe me. There we go. Yeah. Right yeah. It feels like a snapper. It could be a grouper. Oh, it could be. It could be a snapper. So that's why they were hit with wind. Interesting. Interesting, isn't it? Huh. Look at that. Wow. Get him? Yeah. Small fish. I'm sorry, I'm not letting you throw away the <laughs> I'm not going to throw away the beeline. Like not like a ruby red with you. So. Oh, let me see what you got. Got a little bee liner. Oh, yeah. That means I'm changing rods. 
nice bee liner. And how can you tell the difference? A yellow line, or what's the difference between that and another type of snapper? Well, the red snapper is a bigger body. Mm -hmm. These have the pink at the top of their gill, the right. top of their fin. Mm -hmm. Um, they have a pink tail or a red tail. I'm colorblind. I can't tell. <laughs> um, they have the yellowish eyes, okay. big eyes, yeah. small mouth. And I distinctly do see some yellow lines. Oh, there's yellow lines there. Yeah, there that's, there. A, that's a vermilion snapper, yeah. bee liner. Oh, yeah, vermilion snapper. And he's 11 inches, a little over 11 inches. And they have to be minimum of 10. 10. All right, sounds good. That's another snapper. We got it on the way down. Not that big. Maybe it's a bee line. That could be. I'm not a far bee line, so I'm not sure. No, 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 no. Maybe a little red. Red's got great eyes. <laughs> I like that. You'd be out here in 68 feet of water with three quarters of an ounce of weight. No, I, I fishing on the bottom. Usually be one ounce or better, I would think. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Now that rod may have an ounce of weight on it, but most of most of my rods only have three quarters. Yeah, this does it really well. Got him. What you feel like? Mm -hmm. Red snapper? Red snapper. Oh, yeah, nice one. All just a little short. Yeah. Red. Oh, no, for me. Uh. That's yeah, Vermilion. That's a Vermilion, isn't it? That's a big bee line. Yeah. There we go. That's all an ocean liner. Ocean liner. Oh, oh. Would that be? That's a big old bee line. That's a good one there, buddy. Yeah. Nice. Yep. That's okay. your first bee liner? That is my first bee liner. Yeah. You need to take a picture of it. Yeah. You see how I've got him? Yeah. You need to grab him just like that. Squeeze his the ends of his gills together. Now that's what we came for, big dog. Yeah. Oh, this one's got some shoulders to it. Yeah, this one's got some shoulders. Pull him in real. Pull him in real. Get his head turned up. That's like a There we go. Yeah. 
but they're getting it. I tell you what, they're not waiting for it to line up. They're, they're getting it to drift as it drifts back. Yeah. You see the move camera. My question is, uh, is it really not coming or not? Ah. Uh, uh, Have any, there's no size limit. I'm throwing in there with them because that'll last to the pot. Uh, that fish from the day before yesterday took a mess of these home. He um, cooked them the next day. He says best fish he'd ever eat. Oh. <laughs> I was like, okay. okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. How do they hit uh, here? Do they peck, peck, and hit, or they just hit? Uh, he was pecking at it, and I picked it up, and it was all. Yeah. He's about 11 and 3 quarters. Yeah, he's good. Good keeper. Really well. I got a good recipe for him. We're going to call it a day. Um, it's been a nice day. And we have caught a bunch of fish. Um, this, this morning was very, very slow. We stayed inshore. We struggled to catch anything. Um, finally made the decision to, to go offshore. It wasn't perfectly smooth, but the rollers were okay. We caught a bunch of red snapper. We caught some bee liners. We caught some ruby red lips. Uh, caught some grouper. Um, came back inshore and fished here at the Tindall Bridge, and we managed to catch trout, uh, black sea bass, and mangrove snapper. So, um, got some fish to take home and clean. I um, want to thank my guest for coming and fishing with me today. Hopefully he'll come back. Uh, hopefully he learned something. I learned a lot. I sure did. So, um, hope y'all learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, please. Um, ring the bell if you want to get notified when I release new videos, and I'll see you next time.